All right. Okay. This is, this, is, this is the final group video for discussion group 20 for ALA. All right, All right let's, let's get started. All right. All right, this is my sketch, uh, sustainable seating. See that cushion right there? That cushion can be replaced. If in case it gets like a stand on it, just replace the cushion, you know? Uh, it's obviously comfortable. That right there, that's like a gray fur in the back. Oh, and there's a cushion too. Uh, it's mobile. It has wheels on it. You can spin around. You can go around your room and stuff, you know? Don't even have to get up. Uh, replaceable parts. Those wheels are replaceable. That hydraulic on there, replaceable. That cushion, replaceable. And pretty cheap too. It moves up and down. It has a lever right there. So any seat is, you know, the right height. So it's pretty nice for that. Uh, it's aesthetical. You can get whatever cushion color you want, really. You can match the room. And it goes in 360, it spins around. Who doesn't like a spinning chair? I, I like this chair. It's a nice chair. It's um, like you said, it's functional. You know, you can use it in any room. You can do your homework on it or if you want to play video games or watch TV. So it's anything that's functional. Is that yeah, good? I, I'm going to have to agree with you on that one. I think it's very functional. The lever to adjust the height is really doing it for me because if I want to sit lower, I could. But say I need to, like, get up to a different level of desk, that's also a possibility. I think it's a fantastic chair. Hey, I like it just because have a plastic wheel. You can just roll around on it if you wanted to. That's my favorite, personally. Nice. Anybody else? Uh, I think uh, you're on mute. Oh, shoot. Um, yeah, it looks really good. <laughs> I like that you could change colors of the cushion. Nice. Cool, cool. All right, we're going to go on to the next one, unless anyone has anything else to say about Joseph's sketch. Keep it rolling. All right. Up to this is my oh, sketch. Oh, this is my sketch. I went for more of a seating area, uh, kind of for functionality. Over here, I've got a bench. Multiple people can sit there. Uh, it's made out of wood for sustainability and for cost. Um, fireplace just for like the ambiance of the space, and you know, a cooler for beverages and snacks. Like if I if I want to eat something while I'm sitting here, I want to be comfortable. You know, and do that. I've got a cup holder on this lawn chair over here that reclines and has a cushion on the on the headrest so you can be real comfortable, take a nap, tan, do whatever you need to do. Um, I, I went with these decisions because uh, I, I was just trying to incorporate as many design elements as possible into this small space here. Seems very functional, like the last, you know, that chair right there. Is that one of those where you can uh, fold it up like normal like that or all the way back? And, and you can fully recline. You could lay down on that thing if you wanted oh, to. Not. Hey, those are the good exactly. ones. Yeah, I like yeah, I like the cup holder on that too. A lot of those chairs don't have a cup holder. You can't put your drinks anywhere but the floor. That's a pretty mm -hmm. good addition to it. Hey, the fireplace do it for me though. That's pretty. That's pretty neat. Yeah, yeah it's a pretty good fireplace. That is a nice fireplace for sure with the cooler too. How sturdy is the chair though? Like, could if you sit in it, is there any chance it could like fold over and like bend? You know, as it is a hypothetical chair and hasn't been manufactured yet, I would say there is no chance that could possibly happen because, you know, we would pick the, the best possible uh, manufacturer for said chair. I, I think you're safe in this chair. That's a big part of it. Got it. Thank okay, you. Okay, that. that's awesome. All right. All right, this is mine. <clears throat> I kind of wanted this, looking for something like a room slash seating area that I uh, would want to sit in, you know, and hang out with my buddies. Um, pretty comfortable, you know, there's, these are bean bags, uh, the little circle things. I don't know if you could tell or not. Uh, the brown corduroy uh, couch, it can even fold out. That's a table in front. Uh, made sure to have like nice relaxing colors, have it be, um, you know, nice place to chill and some chairs. So it's uh, very functional, you know, you can sit however you like. Um, there's, you could lay down, be, sit on beanbags, sit on a chair, um, just hang out in there. It looks cool. Uh, it's unique and, you know, it's safe. Like you're not outside. So there's no chance of like anything bad happening or anything like that. Um, yeah. And it's just a nice little area. I would have to say my favorite part of this area is you incorporated a cactus plant. And I think that that really would tie the whole room together. 
And, you know, personally, I love houseplants. Make me feel happy. So I, I like that about this space. Bro, I love all the all the chairs right here. If I'm hanging with friends, everyone be included. Everyone's sitting down in a chair. No one's left out. All the homies yeah. just chilling in Everybody. beanbags. I love it. That was what I was thinking. I really like all the colors you use. I like that you made it like a 70s style type of room as well. So it's like aesthetically like pleasing to look at. Oh, thank you. That was that was the goal. Yeah, I I I, was, I gotta agree though. The color do it for me too. You know what? I'm colorblind, but still, it's really really nice. <laughs> it's the thought that counts. You know. Yeah. Hey, I'm glad you can appreciate it. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next. All right. So this is my design of outdoor seating area. I call it seated area, but it's more like a couch, if you if you can tell. The reason for this design is that I like to enjoy the night view in my backyard. And the only problem for that is my backyard is a little bit smaller. So we cannot fit the whole, you know, the whole setup couch in the backyard, you know, those houses that have it. We cannot fit those in there, but those foldable chairs that too uncomfortable for me. So I, I like to have a smaller you know, couch outside. So the design is made so that the couch is easy, easily tucked away when not using. So the bottom is a hollow which you know allowed the user to tuck away the you know, pillow, blanket, or even the you know, the cover for the, the the couch if not using. And the font designed to be like a removable cooler to store drinks and everything like that. So yeah, uh, the dimension I have for them is more of like uh it's more of like a couch than a you know a chair. Yeah, I like the incorporation of all the storages right there. You can pull out some stuff. You can put like pillows in there, blankets maybe. Like this. Yeah. The functionality of this couch is actually fantastic because if it does rain, like you said, you can just tuck it right back in there. You don't need a special spot for it. And then also it's got the built-in refrigerator. I just think that's a really good addition. Yeah, it seems very functional. I like it. Um, it seems very, uh, very well thought out. Um, I can't complain about this one at all. Solid. Yeah, honestly, I like, oh, go for it. Oh, I was just going to say that I really like that. Um, It looks like you're able to kind of like lay on it too. Like it looks really comfy. Yeah, I, I, it was designed to be long enough for you to lay outside and enjoy the view outside. Yeah. The, no, the nice sky outside. That's just, that's design. This design is for me personally. So, you know, a little bit different. <laughs> I like it, Ken. I would also sit in that chair. We uh we good to move on in the next on on to the last yeah all righty okay my design is a meant to be outside it's kind of like an outside chair um it's has the center of it has a lot of like cushion so you're able to kind of like sink in and then around it is kind of like a netting like a crocheted netting and um it's pretty tall and wide. Like you're able to like crisscross in the chair, like sit fully in the chair and it's made out of all recycled materials. So it's really sustainable. Um, and yeah, and it's like the metal out bar. It's on like the cylinder that's metal. So it's pretty safe and it's really pretty too because it has that crochet netting on it outside. And yeah, yeah I, I, could, <clears throat> I was going to say, I could see this chair being very aesthetically pleasing to like put on your patio, you know, because it's got the metal accents down there and then also like the crochet, like you said, and sustainability you can never go wrong with. I think that's this is a fantastic chair. I agree. It looks very uh, comfortable. Something I'd put, uh, you know, on my turf or something like that. It's a nice little sitting and thinking chair. Yeah, I, I feel like it'd be a great aesthetic, like outdoors chair. It looks like a leaf, maybe if it was brown. So it'd be nice to fit outside. And yeah, it's sustainable. sustainable. Yeah, it's sustainable, yeah. Yeah, that's it's made out of all recycled materials. So that's kind of the main thing. And it's outside. And the materials, though, are also like, you can't, you know, metal won't go bad. Like you can't, it'll rust that most, but it won't break. Okay. That's pretty okay. good. I, I like it how it's look like a swing, you know what I mean? Like, you know, those swing where they have like a huge chair and then you just, you know, lay in there if you wanted to. I saw one of those over at my, one of my old apartment where I used to live at. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty fancy, actually. It look, it look exactly like this, but instead of, you know, have a middle, uh, you know, leg in the bottom, 
they they hang it on the you know on the middle bar. Oh yeah, yeah. Those, I know what you're talking those, about. Those yeah, are those, great. Those, yeah, those, those are, are nice. really cool. Yeah, this one's cool too, though. Yeah, he's a uh, <laughs> best pick. Congratulations to uh, Joseph. All right, yeah, so I, I guess we chose cool. this chair because it was durable. It was a durable chair. Uh, it was comfortable. It's functional. It has good functionality to it. It's mobile. You can go anywhere. It's pretty good lumbar support back there. You can sit in that chair. Your posture won't uh, get screwed up. And it has armrests. It's a big one. Yeah, this this could fit into any of uh, any of the things that were created out of all uh, six of us. Um, I think this could fit in any of the um, environments, and it's it's a nice chair. Yeah, I'd say it, it's perfect. The only thing it's missing is a cooler, but uh, the lumbar <laughs> support and the mobility is just unmatched. Yeah, I like to. It's really fun though too because it's not just plain gray or like brown. You have that blue cushion. And you also could have different colors, so that's fun. It snaps apart like a Lego, and you can just make it different colors as you go. I think, I think this was all around the very best chair we've seen today. Yeah, plus you know you can't say no to this this chair. You know, like every house need one of those. Either I'm sitting you know. in one similar to it right now, actually. Hey, same man, same. Hey. Right, like you can't go wrong. Yeah. So does this conclude our? Uh, yeah. This concludes. We have one more slide, I think, of the contributors. Oh, the contributions. This is yeah, the contribution slide right here. Shout out, Nate. Yeah. Also. Yep. Mm-hmm. Good work, everybody. Awesome. All right. All right. So, All right. Thank you. All right. All right. All right.